that right there is Ban Colombia. Hello, dear friends of the internet. It is me, Edward, and today I want to talk to you about Ban Colombia versus Bitcoin. If ever there was an argument in favor of Bitcoin, it has to be sending international bank wires through Ban Colombia. I live in Colombia now, as you know, and I have to get money here in Colombia, so I send myself money from the United States. And there are so many controls on that money that just getting it requires me to go to the bank, stand in line, ask for the money that I've sent to myself, even though they say, oh, but if you put on your account that you have auto deposit, then it will be deposited automatically, which we did. Now they say, oh, yes, but see, there's limits. There's these arbitrary limits per month, per year. So I've already surpassed those very small limits. So every time I want to get my money, I have to go to the bank and stand in line. It is a gigantic pain in the neck. So, if ever there was an argument for Bitcoin, it is the regulations of banks when you're sending money internationally. It is a gigantic pain in the ass. So, guess what? Uh, about a year ago, I started investing in Bitcoin. I continued to invest until it was about $200 per Bitcoin. And then I held on to what I had when it reached about $1,000 per Bitcoin, I sold enough to get my initial investment out and a little bit more to take a small profit. The rest uh, I kept in Bitcoin. So now I have some Bitcoins and I am really hoping that in the future I can use them here in Colombia because I can't stand sending money through the banks. It is a gigantic pain in the ass! Thanks for watching. If you like this video, tap on the like button. And if you don't like this video, pile on the insults in the comment section below. That right there is Banco Colombia.